All right, look. I know how most people view Roblox. And it's just a, you know, child's game online, let their kids play it, whatever. But I found by far one of the most fun games I think I've played so far. So this is called Frontlines. It's a game in development right now. This is just a demo test. But man, this game, this game is a banger. So basically it's like your normal, you know, just shooter. Uh, okay. But the gunplay feels great. It's up there with AAA games in all honesty. And I think that it's great for what it is. Runs a little rough, but again, in development. And it looks awesome for, you know, this being Roblox. I don't really know what else to compare it to. I think this is definitely the first of its kind. It's got some funny little quirks like right there. I tried reloading or switching my secondary instead of reloading and it just didn't work. Oh, it worked last time, look at that. But it's got a whole bunch, it's got a bunch of different guns. It's got, I wanna say two, maybe three, and a whole bunch of randomized attachments. Like right now, I think an M4, hollow sight, just a bunch of funky stuff, and you can get some weird stuff on here. Like, I'm sure we'll go through them as we see. I'll just call it out to you as I see them. But man, it just feels so good sometimes just to hit that. So you can see right now I'm using, what is that, a 10-round mag, which is amazing. You know. Time to kill, time to kill is pretty, um, I'd say it's pretty fast. You know, I could take out a person with a 10-round mag. Other than that, I'm just pushed back by how well they've done and made this. And I really hope to see it continue to grow and they actually keep working on it instead of just... That's the downside of a 10 round mag. And that's the downside of bad aim. It's got some quirks here and there. The network isn't too good. Sometimes you just don't hit your shots at all. And that's the fun of it. You just gotta live with it. Let's see what we get next. So actually there is a full blown kill cam as well, which is pretty impressive. I haven't seen that ever, really as I could do it. So right now we have what MP5 with like a funny little wooden grip down there, a laser and a holographic sight. So what is that? A 60 round mag and it's got a drum mag. See you get some you just get some weird wild stuff on here sometimes. But it just feels so good just at any time. Any of the sliding, the movement feels good. Sometimes you get caught on stuff here and there, but it's not too bad, too noticeable. Even that, you know, I wish it was a little bit of a vault feature, but that's not a big deal. Again, heavily in development. This is just a tech demo. Let's see what this guy had. A weird looking M4. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Let's see if we could get somebody with it. So there are currently only two maps. Oh, they were waiting for me. There's currently only two maps right now. There is this one, which is Canyon, and there is another one, which is Port. Or I definitely prefer Port more. It's more tighter. Feels better. Feels faster. I don't even know what we just picked up. Do you see the stock on that thing? I don't even want to. Give me this one. 90 round mag? 100 round mag? What's this guy doing? So there are actually, that's a grenade. What just happened? I know there's a button F, but there are throwing knives too, which I have yet to get a kill with yet. So let's see if we can. Almost, almost. We're gonna get one by the end. But yeah, I basically just want to talk about this and show it off a little bit just to kind of get it out there. Cause I really think that it deserves more popularity than it has, even though it's not a, by far not a small game. It averages about probably 500 players. So, not a dead game, not hidden, but it's a good one and I definitely think it should be up there. The rest. I don't want to hit somebody with this knife. Right here, right here, right here. Nope, okay. So I want to show you guys some of the other guns. I don't really know if I'm going to get the chance to. I'm going to... 
you know, absolutely pop off and never die for the rest of the round. Maybe I was completely sucked the entire time. Who knows? But I am amazed about how, you know, the kind of production quality that is out of this when compared to some of the AAA games that do it way worse. Indie games are really on the upcoming these days. I don't even know what's happening here. Oh, so duh. There is a shotgun sidearm. Sometimes you get a pistol, sometimes you get a shotgun. This shotgun is a little funky sometimes. A little weird, I don't really understand it. I don't try to use it that much. But when you have a gun with... Oh, 20 rounds, okay. Better than 12s like I thought we had. I really want to get somebody with this knife. Gotta find somebody though. No, that wasn't it. We're gonna get it though, we're gonna get it. I'm honestly really impressed with the whole kill cam thing too, because I remember that being a big deal back when like Phantom Forces, I want to say, started coming out. And more like the Call of Duty, not ripoffs, but Call of Duty replicas, I guess. Tried to start becoming bigger, and we won. I'm going to see if I can try to show you port. So there is actually a... Okay. There's actually a best play feature as well. Oh, last kill. I've seen it both ways. I guess there's two. There's final kill and then there's best play. Um, don't know how they make that work. Again, in Roblox of all things. But we're going to see if we can get port here. I went 10 and 7. That is not good whatsoever. But at least it's positive, I guess. It looks like the entire servers want port too. But we're going to wait for this to load up. And this map, by far my favorite. A lot closer, tighter corners, more action, I guess. Canyon's all right. As you can see, it's a bit open. There's little weird back areas you can go to that don't really match up too well. And it's just kind of messy, I want to say. I haven't even seen that. But let's, can I hold it? I can. So we're going to try to get... No, so close. There are grenades too. I don't really use them that often. I don't really see them being that effective. I think they need a little bit of a buff. The range is a bit too small, and I don't think I've ever seen anybody kill him. Kill somebody with a grenade. But as you can see immediately, right off the bat, just... Constant. This map does run... A bit lower on the frames. What gun did I get? I can barely control this thing. What is it? No. Oh, he took it from me. There we go. Told you I'd get it. See, in the end, we got it. Oh, wow. He sent me flying. That's it, pretty much. I just wanted to talk about this, show it off a little bit. I want to kind of put it out there to see if I could get a little bit more attention it deserves. But I think this is definitely one of those hidden gems. I saw somebody come in there. Where's this guy going? Nah, we're gonna follow him for a minute. Here you go. Oh, I tried, I tried. But this time, this is where I'll leave it for you guys. Hope you check it out and I hope you have fun. Have a good night.